I'm going to tell you about my aquaponic uh, update. I was hoping to get some bass today uh, and show that as my update, but that's not going to work out. So we're just going to look at the system in general. If we could take a look at this whole thing, we are standing here inside of a greenhouse. I built the greenhouse around the aquaponic system. Now, unfortunately, it's gotten below freezing in here. As you can see, the uh, the water beads have frozen. So, and see this here is frozen. Cold. Anyway, the moving water has survived. I have the broccoli. We can get below freezing and it won't be a problem for it. It's doing it pretty well. But the lettuce down there at the end, I don't know if it's the cold that's going to hurt it or not. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to let it and see. But this is the aquaponic system. <clears throat> what we have here is a fish tank. This particular fish tank is about 150 to 175 gallons. There aren't any fish in it right now because it got too cold they all died. But <clears throat> the fish live in the fish tank and of course they produce fish waste. The fish waste is pumped up through my PVC pipe system. And you can see that green right there is a uh, pump, pumps the water up. This right here is shooting directly back into the fish tank because that adds oxygen to the water. So there are these fish there. But then the water comes up here and goes into what this is called a grow bed. The grow bed is where you grow vegetables. You can see right now I have some broccoli, I have some lettuce. Uh, I planted some spinach, but it didn't do too well. I don't know if I had bad seeds or, or what to do with it. But the uh, plants grow, and then you can eat the plants. And eventually, if you get it so that your fish start reproducing and growing, you can eat the fish. So, step down here. This is another grow bed. This is either a weed or harper. It's probably a weed. And then we have another fish tank right here. This one fills up a little more. And I can probably get around 175 to maybe a little bit more of that gallons in there. Fish grow in there. And then I have my final grow bed. The lettuce was growing really well. But I can see the cold has uh, caused the leaves to curl a little bit. This leaf may not make it. It's not supposed to get that cold around here. Um, what I need to do is fill in some gaps. I have a lot of gaps that I need to fill in on my greenhouse. And then I also, I'm going to get some uh, solar panels. The solar panels, and we're going to slide right back down this way, a ways. Close quarters. The solar panels are going to set up here. You see, this roof right here is detachable for summertime, because then it would get too hot in the greenhouse. So I can take this flat part of the roof from this PVC pipe over to this PVC pipe. That will come off later. I'm going to get some solar panels. The solar panels are going to attach to this bar right up here and set up here. Then they are going to come down to some type of battery type thing. The battery type thing is going to have some kind of uh, converter type thing that converts the solar power into one pin electricity. It's going to have a plug-in. Um, and I'm going to plug a little heater in. And so by next winter, I'm going to be able to keep the water warmer. Plus, I'm going to have plugged up more of the gas in my greenhouse. And uh, maybe made a few other adjustments to that. So anyway, that's a short explanation of the aquaponics and an update of where things stand now. Thank you.